Welcome everyone. In this video, I will explain how uh, the 3D simulation of a neural network I made in the previous video is done. Uh, we will see the way uh, it says the program is working internally. Also, we will see what you are visualizing in, in the network that uh, many of you uh, ask me of what you are seeing there. And finally, I will show you how you can test uh, by your own this simulation and uh, learn with with it. First of all, uh, I will talk about a bit of neural networks. Um, what you are seeing here uh, is a part of the neural network. And you can see that we have an image that in this case is the input of the neural network. And also we have uh, some digits from 0 to 9 representing uh, the desired value the network we want to predict, right? And in the middle, you are seeing uh, some uh, weights and neurons, okay? The spheres and neurons, and the weights are the connections between the neurons, okay? Uh, it's important to know that uh, the algorithm that is behind this is the the feed forward and the back propagation, and they are based on a calculus optimization uh, in a multidimensional way. Uh, the feed forward uh, get the image, okay, the seven for example, and it will process it uh, with different uh, composition of functions, and it will output uh, the prediction uh, the network thinks that this image is, okay. And the back propagation is the process that uh, is based on on calculus differentiation, and it gets uh, the desired value we want to get, and it calculates the error and back propagates um, and back propagates to readjust uh, the weights. Okay, the weights have some values, and the neurons uh, are calculated with the weights values. Okay. Uh, the data set I use for this simulation is the means, okay, that gives uh, 28 by 28 pixels digi uh, digits, okay, image, and uh, it labels its image with it, its desired number, okay. Uh, also, um, I will explain now uh, what you are visualizing, okay. As you are in here, uh, we can see that uh, we have some colors, okay, and the weights appear and disappear. This, this is consequent uh, of uh, how I design this visualization, okay. If we pause the simulation, um, some neurons don't have weights, and this is because the weights, uh, in this case, I put that they are less than 0 0.5, okay. If a, a neuron of the previous layer or the next layer is less than 0 0.5, we don't draw this way, okay. And the colors um, are used uh, depending on uh, the value, okay, of the weight, okay. If it's more than 0 0.5, it's green, and if it's less, it's uh, red, okay. And that is what you are seeing. So we only put uh, in a way uh, we only enable the weights that uh, are more than 0 0.5. Okay, and we only see that. That is why here, for example, okay, you can see that only the weights, these are not acti activated, and only the new one that is activated has its connections, okay. So that is the visualization, okay. Also, we can see that this is the normal topology. We have some layers, okay, of neurons, but uh, I have also an implementation, okay, with random positions of the network, okay, to make to make it uh, uh, more impressive. But this is not anything more than changing the position randomly of the neurons, okay. And also, uh, you can see that now we are training, okay. We are doing the feed forward and the back propagation of the network. But we can swap this mode with a key, okay. And now it will try to test with a testing data set, okay, and it will see how the network is performing. So the more uh, 
data we get the network to analyze, it will have better predictions. Okay. I will explain now the levels that you are seeing in, in the left. Okay. We can see uh, the confident. This is the the max value that you are seeing uh, here. Okay. For example, the six that is right. Okay. Uh, the max value. Um, we see we, it has a value. So in this case, it's 0 0.531. This is the confidence that the network has uh, on this prediction. Okay. Then we have the correct number uh, answer. Okay. That is six, and this is from the dataset uh, label. And then we have uh, at the bottom the hit ratio. That is, is the the amount of times the network has done uh, a right prediction. Okay. So it will increase depending on how much uh, we train the network and with how much uh, epochs that they are the the loops of the entire dataset and how how big is our dataset. And then we can see the error in this iteration. Okay, this iter this error is a mean square error that is calculated from all the output values and the desired values we want. Okay. This is for the testing. Okay. If we go to, if we return to the learning process, okay, you can see uh, some constants that are more advanced. And this is internally of the backpropagation system, how is learning. Okay. And uh, at the bottom, we have the number of the epoch, that is the loop of the entire dataset, the current iteration on the dataset. Okay. And finally, the error in the iteration that this is, is the same as in the in the test process. Okay, so now uh, we will see how you can use this simulation by your own. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, if you press L and when you start the simulation, you will have uh, all the shortcuts. So the first thing is you can move with WASD. Okay. If you want to focus the camera, okay, and the, at the first time you will have the camera focus on the network. Just press F, okay, and it will automatically with a fluent simulation uh, go to the network. And now if you move, it will always face to the network position, okay? And this is really cool. Then you can pause the simulation with P, okay? And for example, I say that you can have the topology or have the random positions of the simulation. And then in very important, you can uh, make the simulation, the learning process faster. Just press set and X. Okay. To increase the speed and decrease it. Okay. Also with the V, you can change the colors. And also with the topology, each topology house can have uh, the different colors. Um, then another thing that is really important is you can speed up uh, the movement with the shift, okay? And decrease the movement with the control, okay? If you want to make a cinematic uh, video, just press control, okay? Uh, Okay, and then uh, to swap between learning mode and training mode, uh, learning is one and testing is two. Okay, testing, learning, and it will reset when you change between modes. Then uh, for visual enhancements, uh, you can have to, with the T, you can change the skybox, okay, different skybox. Uh, then, then you can hide the UI with the H, okay? Uh, and then uh, some adjustments of the visualization, uh, you can, for example, increase the, increase the glow, okay, with the M and decrease it with the N, okay? And also you can uh, increase the size of the weights with the K and decrease it with the G, okay? And that's all. You can play with the simulation and uh, learn how this is done. Okay. So thanks for the video and uh, see you in the next video.